Today I have a 2D game library um, built in Go for Go that I wanted to show you guys. It's called Pixel. As always, I'll have the link for it in the description. Pixel, I don't believe it's currently still in development, at least at the moment, but it has basically all the main features that you need in case you wanted to learn Go and you wanted to learn some basic uh, game development stuff with it. Um, right here on the GitHub page under the README, you can see you can set it up with Go yourself, or you can do clone the repository and go into it and install it. And that's going to set it up with all your Go and Go path and whatnot, and it'll know where everything needs to work. And then from there, you can actually go and check his wiki, check his tutorials, where he explains how to draw, create a window, draw sprites, along with drawing other shapes and objects and whatnot with IM Draw. Um, and also other things with uh, mouse and keyboard events and uh, text and whatnot. Um, basically all the basic stuff that you need. He has another repository right here, examples, and I'll have this one in the description as well. But if you already have it cloned, but, uh, and I cloned it just into the directory, oh, into the same directory as uh, the main one right here. So we can look at some examples, I guess. We can just look at platformer one, which is the main example. It has, a, you know, has animation. It has um, all objects and sprites everywhere, along with keyboard uh, events and controlling and whatnot. And you can just do go run or go build. I already built it, so I'm just gonna run that that I built. And as we can see there, this is the test game. Uh, you can run around jump up here there's platforms there's collision all this stuff is just done within the library itself and I don't know looks pretty nice it's uh, feels pretty good to play with if I don't fall all right but yeah so this is the sample code he has the code for all the samples you can go through and in case this tutorial and this wiki don't cover everything you guys can look through the sample codes and figure out how everything works he even has this stuff right here for a uh, it's on github for raycaster and then this is kind of like a more full-fledged game it's still just like a really short quick game um there's a list of all his features and this is some stuff that it doesn't actually support and i'm not sure if it's still in development um it says but i don't know for sure it hasn't been updated recently but even this stuff isn't really necessary things I mean it has some mobile stuff so you can't do mobile um, and it has some Vulcan stuff so that doesn't really it doesn't really matter too much other than that it has basically every feature that you need for any sort of quick game library uh, for making a 2d game of course um, I tested it out myself or at least one of the things that I'm working on right now it's a I'm just using it to basically as a graphics to represent some data algorithms um, and what you want to do is just do pixel GL this is the GL thing that I said I was using and then run and then you pass in the function run which is the function I just have created and here's some configure setups where you have your windows configuration you can have the name of the window the width and the height and you can have vsync disabled or enabled along with a few other features it's all on the wiki page as well with the tutorials and then you create the new window with the configuration and then you just have your main loop uh, i guess you can you know your game loop whatever you want it to be you can set it to you know a boolean for running and just by default you can just have it window closed so if you click out on the x on the window it'll close it and I mean it's basically just as that I use IMDB, IMD in this example for drawing some rectangles you have window update and then you have window clear and you can use other APIs such as the color names for doing the colors and I guess I can just show you the example of this one um, it's simple basic algorithm it just randomly uh, chooses the size of all these rows or I guess columns and then it sorts them it's super slow because I I had it slow on purpose. Um, let me right here, and I would take a second just so you can see the initial. But yeah, this is right here. Um, one thing that I've noticed though is I'm trying to draw every single one of these columns onto the screen, but there's like a you know because there's a width of the screen, and as of right now the IMD from what I can tell 
it's kind of only taking in the rectangle size of uh, literally what could fit on the screen. So there's a max amount of rows or columns I can draw onto the screen or onto the window based on the window size, which uh, that's still something I'm trying to figure out how to get around. Um, because of that, I can't really visualize something that's a big amount of data. This one is just uh, the data size is 600 for that one. And I think that was like around the max that I can get it to fit. But, uh, but yeah, that's basically it. If you guys are interested in Go development, if you guys are interested in learning Go or learning how to make games in Go, this is definitely a good place to start. If you guys are interested in my data visualization tool, um, just for visualizing data, I'm uh, visualizing, visualizing algorithms. Uh, I don't have it posted on here, but I'm going to have it posted on here uh, very soon. I'll have that in the description as well. Maybe I'll make another video talking about that. And if you guys are interested, I can probably make some tutorials showing how to use this as well. And for this, also, I'm planning on using I am GUI, which I am GUI has a, a Go version. So once I figure that all out and get it done for my algorithm program, I'll probably be coming out with a tutorial for that as well, showing how to use this. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, let me know as well. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave it a like. If you dislike the video, go ahead and dislike it. If you guys are new to the channel and want to stick around, feel free to subscribe and see you guys again next time. Bye.